You know, we all have two types of friends when it comes to movie recommendations. One, if they tell you this movie is good, it's good. You and that person somehow maybe have the same taste when it comes to movies. Or he may have an eye to know what type of movies you love. And we have a friend that if they tell you a movie is good, it's shit. I don't want to say those people have shitty taste, but it's a hard case for them to make that they don't. When they suggest a particular movie to you, you go into it expecting it to be bad. 100% of the time, they are. Merry Men is Nigerians attempt to make a heist movie that is void of substance, logic, and even reason to be. It has some of the most boring characters that fuck more than they actually work. By the end of the movie, you know more about this character's sex life than what they actually do for the Merry Men. If that isn't even bad enough the movie doesn't even really know what it wants to be it's like telling three different stories at the same time a heist a thief with a heart of gold friendship and soft core porn the movie is about the merry men a famous group of big boys that kind of work with the government because we don't exactly know one way or another we know their hands is kind of with the government i say that because the movie spent a lot of time on telling us who they are but not what they actually do they run whatever for the government or corrupt officials but their true aim is to steal from these corrupt officials and give to the poor but we never saw them giving the poor any shit the movie starts off with the merry men attending one of all their only employees birthday party they introduce these merry men in this freeze frame guy richie way but in merry men's case in a stupid way because when guy richie does it to introduce a character he shows a little montage of the history of that character giving the character a backstory the major problem with the merry men they don't exactly tell us who they are a y bologna industrialist is that what he is amaju jigalo that's the only thing he brings to this group which means if there's no old lady in in any of their jobs he's practically useless how can fucking be a skill in a heist movie remy might be the only one they did right it guru but intelos is a hacker he's like the only useful person in the group tell me what life did he bring to any party in this movie 10 minutes into the movie we got our first sex scene okay i'm just surprised she didn't hear anything from remy banging that keyboard so loud and talking so loudly if you think about this scene it has a lot of problem because one what is nas job here and why does our home computer have all this information not her office computer i mean if it's like a laptop okay but a desktop and from the information they extracted from the computer those files are too small to take this long like seriously what type of flash is he using now moving on ayo is one of the most broken characters of this movie he's a rich guy who according to the movie made his own money he's rich i mean damn rich and he still leaves his auntie in that shithole look at what he's driving and look at where the people he so-called love are living like how is he a good guy if he continues to let them suffer this scene here shows that the merry men are in bed with the government remember it because it'll be important later now to me personally one major problem of this movie that i'm wondering how people didn't notice it is that the person that was editing this movie must have been having sex while editing this movie his editing is shit he doesn't wait for a conversation to end before he moves to another scene then he remembers that, that conversation has not ended then goes back to that conversation he does that like multiple times in the movie i mean look at this oh fuck ah it comes with the territory man I want you to stay. But if there's one thing that annoys me the most in this movie is that there is good acting in this shit of a movie. But only from two people and just one scene. Let's see here where Ramsey brings out his great A acting when he's in front of talent. But when he's surrounded by jokes, he becomes non-existent. Or their lack of talent makes it impossible for anybody to see his. Now, the blackmailing scene was very stupid. I mean, even the movie had to kind of address it, which was good but it brings a problem to the movie it kind of show how the merry men are kind of very useless i mean blackmail to this degree come on it's not going to work okay it's showing that the the villain or we even call him a villain it's just showing that this guy wouldn't go down easy but at the same time it kind of shows that they are kind of very weak now the scene of them having lunch or this woman who puts the merry men on her boss's radar and ay having lunch was kind of very funny i mean you're having lunch with the person you're investigating is kind of weird i mean nobody's going to raise an eyebrow and ask questions in your organization i don't know now in the lunch we get to see ay's core beliefs we still 
from people who steal from us who turn public office into ATM for every road they don't build, for every hospital they don't build, they own private jets, buy homes in Dubai. Really, have you looked at yourself? Now, somebody wants to say, nope, he's using his own money. They work at fulfilling government contracts. Those people in government office that turns it into ATM machine gives them that money to build whatever they want. And they would have to do it and do it in a good way. If not, nobody will even know about them. Him and his friends are literally the foundation of the system they are fighting. They themselves are a major problem in the system. Think about it from all the money they have gotten from their past jobs how come gaki still looks like this and funny enough he's not really a known figure there it's just a couple of kids that know him and this has been the story of my life for like what, three years three years undercover like seriously what was your plan now when we fast forward to this scene it is kind of annoying to just me i don't know about anybody else there it's not really a problem it's kind of mean kind of like nitpicking this whole place was pre-recorded the voice and the scene really didn't match you know that they had to go and record their line somewhere else i don't know why they did it but you know we would never know now we start getting to the first conflict of the movie nas literally put his phone down without offing it which is kind of weird you know what i'm not even gonna get mad at this scene let's just forget about it seriously if there's one thing i found so damn funny with this movie is this girl's acting her acting was so terrible that it just became comedy to me and she opens her mouth there is so much going on on her face she has an opposite problem that i have with genevieve where genevieve has no facial expression this girl has way too many facial expression at the same time it's like somebody's poking her with a needle anytime she's saying her lines she's literally confessing her crush to the love of her life and she still has 60 miles per hour facial movement okay <laughs> now we are at the night before the big heist and i noticed something about this man these men are too dysfunctional to function they lack any form of discipline their leader gets wasted before a job he's too emotional to even function as a leader this one wants to probably bang before the job and only god knows what the other yahoos are doing now the heist the heist doesn't feel important because the characters don't act like it's important they are on a timer but we don't see them acting like it's a life or death matter we see them acting anyhow and chilling more than even getting prepared for the job this guy got information that the excavation is going to start in 10 days and then he waited till it's like seven days before he told anyone now the heist Oh god, the heist. It's stupid and it has a lot of problems. Now, the movie spent like an hour or more showing us that the Merry Men are this famous group that everybody, or if you are somebody, you should know who they are. And now nobody knows who these two are. But let's look at the other problems with this. Them blocking the road doesn't really work. I mean, they should have used a truck to block this road, not this car. But even if they used a truck, hello, Nigerians, we will find a way around it even if we have to enter oncoming traffic. But okay. Okay, let's just ignore that now the thing about heist movies is that 90 percent of the movies are things that surround the heist and 10 percent is the heist or the execution of the heist that 90 percent half of it is broken down into getting a crew and their reason for why they would want to do the job and why that job even really matters to the crew or characters but most importantly the heist how much money it is if they do the job right and how much they will all get the other half of that 90 percent is on the equipments they use for the job the tools the gadgets and even if they have to go and get things or customize things for the job it is done like that so we won't be left out of the heist and we won't be lost when everything starts rolling but here we don't even know the plan till it starts getting in motion nas job is just to be a lookout so why the priest get to what does it add to the plot i mean this whole thing was disturbing i'm not catholic but even i know that was kind of offensive and just forced for no reason like you say you love engine face but what the hell is all of this but for those that like saying i like talking rubbish let me ask you guys this question who pulled the fire alarm hmm? who did it no answer we all just have to think maybe it's this guy we don't even know that's that's the problem with this movie we don't know what's going on this scene here is just a ripoff from the italian job you can't tell many different but now we get to the stupid part of this movie that is the merry men getting in problems but you see that doesn't come from their criminal actions it comes from them self-destructing not only did this woman not find out that her guy is sleeping with other women by chance not only did he not refuse not to follow her but they went after 
after her by leaking some damning information about her. Not only were they not fucking the hand that feed them, they beat it. Which leads us to more problems. The problem is one caused by them for no reason, just for the film to have drama. Now, AY's dad is dying in the hospital and for some reason he forgot that he has a sister. Because the sister wasn't there, he didn't try to contact her. Hell, she doesn't even know what's going on. Then we get this scene that the useless anti-corruption squad or agency is going after the mailman men. Without any evidence. I mean, that's how you arrest people. You get a call that the evidence will soon come, just gonna arrest them. And yeah, that's how you do a good job. Now, we move on to how AY found out that Nas is screened his sister by a message on the so-called tech guru or IT guru guy. Like, seriously, the guy or the hacker of the group, his phone should be the most secure out of all of them. But, you know, plot. So now, AY is going to kill Nas. That's that. And then we get this laughable scene. Engine face is faster than a speeding bullet. I mean, look at how far they are. And she was still able to get in between the bullet. Like, really? I got, oh my god. Oh. But this breaks a wise character even more. The so called good guy was going to murder his friend. Really, the rich guy who cares about poor people has no problem killing his friend. Friends they have been for a very long time. Please tell me, how is he a good guy again? Then the movie goes so to shit at this point. A shootout with unknown gunmen, merry men, and the police. The movie went from Ocean's 8. To the hit in a blink of an eye. The tone shift is so questionable. Like, how do we get from this I'm cool. to this? It's safe to say that she ordered a hit on them and at the same time called the police to arrest them. At the same time. Like, how is this even in the script? And now we should completely forget that two people got shot in this whole scene and like they are totally okay now. Okay. But now this woman is getting arrested and I don't see how the merry men are not going to get arrested too. I mean, they are in bed with her literally and figuratively. So she should obviously have receipts. They literally work for her and they get extra for, you know, the extra service that this guy does. And now there's a wedding scene because we have to have a wedding scene in every Nigerian film. Why not? But here is a problem. Not only is an agent of the anti-corruption whatever attend the wedding of one of their suspects she is going to get married to another of their suspects like how does this not raise a couple of eyebrows in her agency she is the damn mole if you guys never even thought you have a mole now you know no wonder you guys have no information on them she is the sole reason why look the merry men are a group of villains who actually think they are the good guys they hacked a bank and literally stole millions from the bank how many people in that bank are going to get fired how many people are going to pull out from that bank yeah let's not think about that because because we all just love weddings. If there's one thing a heist movie should never ever do, is a movie you don't get to see the money or the stuff that is stole. The end product of their labor. Show, don't tell, but here it is tell, don't show. You rob the audience of their sense of wonder, or them wishing it was them who did the heist or now they have that money. The merry men completely forgot about the money they were supposed to give those people. That was the end result of their action, but the movie completely forgot about all of that. And before I forget, Forget, there is way too much sex scenes in this movie or the idea of sex just happen or will happen there are like three sex scenes and five idea of sex that happen in this movie that's a lot for just one movie this is the first time i'm going to agree that there was objectification of women in a movie it's way out of hand and it doesn't even help the plot in any way merry men is a movie that doesn't know what it wants to be it wants to tell three different stories at the same time in the end it failed in telling a reasonable story for a movie I don't rate movies, but I am going to rate this movie. It is a 1 out of 10. And the only reason it gets a 1 is because of this scene here. Anyway, that's it for this movie. I'll probably do the review for the part 2 on the next video. So, till then.